and see a magic wood. So rub it. What's a magic wood? <laughs> I don't know. Great. So this is what we're gonna do. Since it didn't work, mom and dad, I think um, y'all need to get your cameras out right now. Oh, y'all are gonna hate me. So Alex, this is what you do. You're gonna rub it three times and put it under your pillow tonight, right? And when you wake up tomorrow, you're going to find fifty dollars <laughs> under your pillow. And if you don't get the fifty dollars, mommy and daddy would really love you. That's not true. That's not true. It's a joke. It's a joke. Put your hands together for Alex, guys. So it is now 7.37, you guys have 12 hours, stop it now. But who's ready for an amazing PG show? Let me hear you guys make some noise. Alright guys, this comedian I'm about to bring to the stage, she has an amazing film coming out next year, a horror film, so make sure you guys go and check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, go absolutely crazy and help me welcome the one and only Miss JC Cruz. respect for you and your wallet. <laughs> Got off the ship today, I had a fantastic time. I walked out, I immediately realized in real time I should not be walking alone. But who cares? Let's give it a go. And I started walking and I heard Miss Miss Leatherbacks and I said, no me gusta. <laughs> Miss Miss Pharmaceuticals? Talk to me. <laughs> then I heard from afar, Miss Miss Blow. I'm um, what? Do I look like the kind of girl that does blow? Alex? You tell me, Alex. I kept walking and I finally found the place I was destined to go. It was not a Mexican restaurant. It was not to have margaritas. It was the 899 Botox! Can't move my face. Can't move my face. I'm crying right now. None of you can tell. Anybody here Botox people? A couple people willing to admit it? The rest of you are like, no, the Lord wants me to have wrinkles. And I'm going to keep those wrinkles. You don't have to get Botox if you don't want to, but when someone tells you it's $5.99, go for it. Because in the States, they are ripping us off. Almost got a breast enlargement. She was like, it's the same price as a shrimp taco. <laughs> I chose the shrimp taco out of respect for the dresses I have on the ship. But I'll be back. <laughs> kept walking, kept walking. In my head, I was, I was looking at real estate. You ever do that? Just walking around town, and you're like, I'm going to buy this. Right? All the old people are like, we, yeah, that's how we got America. We bought up the land. The engines. Walking around like, should I buy this casa? Casa de casita? Right? What would I do in Cancun? I'd get kidnapped immediately. But no one would pay the ransom. So we just live in Cozumel, waiting for the ship to come back every week and a half. I finally found a restaurant called the Thirsty Cougar. My people. My people. Where are my cougs at? Where are my cougie women? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at you at a PG show. Lurking in the crowd. 
Are you 18? When will you be 18? You know, on the ocean, there's no laws, right? It's maritime law. I don't mean go get in trouble, but kind of get in trouble because, like, there's security on this ship, but, like, is there? <laughs> You've had a couple of drinks before and looked at one of the security guards, and you're like, I could fight you in the bathroom right now. <laughs> you do that? And now you're like, are you really a security guard? And then they just takes you, and you're like, <laughs> You don't want to test it, you know what I mean? I don't know about that Filipino security guard, like what that might be. It might be a couple like dabs to the neck and then you're out. <laughs> I kept walking, had a good time, had a Bloody Mary to get my body back to the way it's supposed to be. Okay, that tasted like pure ketchup. <laughs> so I don't know how Bloody Marys work in Mexico, but no me gusta. <laughs> Do you have one? Right? No, my good stuff. Then I had a Coca-Cola. And I had the Coca-Cola and the woman said, uh, you have to drink it here. I went, is that a threat? <laughs> She's like, yeah, you drink it here. And I was like, what do you mean? Where do people normally drink it? She goes, we recycle it. So I had to chug an entire Coca-Cola to prove myself to this Mexican woman so she could collect 50 cents. And I did it, but I was very mad at her. And then I found a little place to jump into the ocean. Women, do you like jumping into the ocean? It feels good, right? Especially when you're hungover, people, right? It's the minerals, the ocean, just get in, just like dive in, let the water just smack you. But there's no real place along that strip to go. So I just started hopping over, like locked gates. Because it doesn't look like anybody cares about anything there. <laughs> it's locked, but like there's also a gaping hole where you can fit you and your entire family through. So I did it, I went and I swam into the ocean and I was enjoying myself while I was floating. And I don't know if you do this when you get into the ocean, you're like very brave and you're like, I love the ocean, it's so beautiful, it's so amazing. Ah, what was that? <laughs> oh, I love the ocean, thank God, dear God, thank you for myself. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Play a game, seaweed or great white. <laughs> you're gonna do that and when you get into the beach, you'll get, you'll get just to the, the shin. You'll be like, oh, this is so fun. Do sharks swim up to your shins or no? I, I don't know, and I don't want to know. Right? Mm -hmm. Everyone's always like, we gotta protect the sharks. We gotta protect the sharks. No, we don't. <laughs> they will eat you if you try to protect them. I swam with sharks one time. I was down in the water in Hawaii swimming with sharks. The only thing I had in my stomach was, you guessed it, salt and vinegar potato chips. Because I'm a trashy woman from Pittsburgh. The salt and vinegar potato chips are honestly nutritious. I was having such a good time, but then I started getting scared because the sharks were coming like all around my body. And that like attractive 18 year old Hawaiian boy like swam in front of me like a little merman to protect me. And the shark like veered off and then I vomited <laughs> out of fear of my salt and vinegar potato chips and then the shark ate my vomit. <laughs> Cause it's the circle <laughs> I was like, get me off this boat and I paid for that. I paid to watch a shark eat my vomit. <laughs> the things we do on vacation, right? Like braiding. Women love their hair getting braided. <laughs> Right, where am I break this one? <laughs> Look at you trying to hide it. Appropriating an entire culture. Love, you only got half your head braided. You run out of money, ho? <laughs> Hope you had a good time. <laughs> I do what I can. Don't tell anybody. If you do, my name is CJ Jones. getting braided. How much did it cost you? $25? $10. $10. Okay. Would you like to finish the rest of her head for $10? <laughs> make a quick 10 bucks, make her look normal again? <laughs> Other things we do on vacation, we'll go on road trips. We go on road trips. That's what we had to do most of, well, I mean, you're Texas. You never shut down. We, like the rest of the world, was like, 
we gotta protect our people. Texas was like, we don't. Every man for themselves. Texas is so funny. They're all about having the gun protection. Make sure you have your guns, but we don't kill everything, especially not babies. <laughs> I guess we're all be giving complimentary abortions on deck six for the remainder <laughs> of the cruise. Yeah. I've never done it before, but I'm white and I think I can get away with it. <laughs> Again, a couple people shaking their heads. I do not care. <laughs> Things we do on vacations, we go on road trips. Kids, you have to be in a car with your parents for a long period of time and they promise you things like Disneyland. I hate that too. Is that Alex? She said, no, it's me. Get in the car with your mom and your dad and they force you to go to a place, right? where they spend $167 so a man who smokes marble lights puts a goofy costume on and tricks you into believing life is going to be fair. Too dark? <laughs> Too real? <laughs> and a lot of people, the baby boomers, y'all had to go on road trips without Google. How'd you do that? My internet stops on this ship. I walk up to the captain and I go, I think I'm the captain now. I don't know where we're going, but I... And you have to have maps, actual maps. Your parents would drive with their knee and have the map all the way out. This is a skill, by the way. Map all the way out. And if you missed a turn, your vacation has changed. Right? It changed. You'd be like, we were headed to North Carolina, but it looks like we're going to Oklahoma now. <laughs> I don't know what they do there. That's where we're going. And you don't have that opportunity to look for an Airbnb. People did not just let you in their homes before. If you got in homes, you had a ch ch right in your face. <laughs> My husband and I are staying tonight. The heck you are, girlfriend. <laughs> Airbnb now, everything. If there's a ping and you don't know where you are, you're lost. Just stay in one position. Anybody still roll with maps? One person in the back? Just a huge atlas? Right? That's smart, right? Because then you're going to be fine during the apocalypse. We're going to be lost as heck, just running in circles. Trying to mate. And everyone's like, that's not the time. It's like, it's always the time. Other things you do on vacation, like bungee jump. You ever do that? You say, heck no? Or you get, you climb up to the top and you pay somebody to drop you to your death? Right? Have a people, has anyone done it in this room? Well, the woman that has the atlas is like, the map led me here. I might as well jump. I'm being heckled by this young six-year-old. I can hear you, six-year-old. What, what are you? You're 13? So you're already lying. She's gonna be a real good time. You're 40? Oh, sweetheart. You should have gotten Botox with me today. I'm proud of you for having kids, good on you for having kids and keeping them here. One person clapping. <laughs> kids are great. They're sweet, they're adorable, they're squishy. The baby cute, love that. I like to walk up to people holding babies and I go, mine now. And some of them go, okay. <laughs> Take it. It's not what we thought it was. When I was walking down the streets in Mexico today, I sweetly asked if I could hang with the baby. A baby took its little baby hands and grabbed my finger. So I farted. Because <laughs> I know what babies really want. That's for you to pass gas like them. One of the vendors saw me playing with this baby. I'm not even kidding. She literally goes, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. 
there are more babies down this alleyway. I was like, that is a strong pitch to go and get me to look at your bodega. She's gonna sell me a baby. I guess they didn't cost no one more night. It'd be nice if they let us sleep over. We all, half of us would go missing, but that's fine. The rest of us would just rummage through your rooms and steal things from your suitcase. It'd be nice to do an overnight with them. We're gonna hang out in the town, right? Meet the people, end up in jail, see what it's like, and really love America. Did you ever get back from Mexico and go, man, I really love America? Yeah. Me too. But I didn't get in any trouble. I stayed smart, I stayed alert. I almost got hit by a taxi, but that's part of it. They'll go real fast. I even said it out loud, do you think they would stop? And someone goes, no. <laughs> I'm Italian woman, you know what I mean? I kind of, when I walk in a room, I just want to be, I want to be seen by people. And I'm the kind of Italian, like the real Italian, not, I mean, not the real Italian, real Italian's upstairs driving the boat. <laughs> you can tell because there's just hair all over them. They're just constantly waxing. <laughs> no hair. <laughs> That's a real Italian up there. You can't understand a word they're saying. My family's the American Italian, the Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania Italian. That's the Americanized Italian. It's kind of Italian where you're family, all your male family members all wear matching track suits, but none of them jog. <laughs> Don't want It's the kind of Italian family where you walk in for the Christmas holiday and your family members are just handing people $20 bills saying, Don't tell anybody what you saw today. <laughs> My family's so Italian, they're proud of it. But I have friends that are even Italian. The Rose Rossi's, the Rossi's wrote that John Gotti movie. And he's so proud of being Italian. Every Sunday he has Italian dinners. And he was so proud that he did the 23 in May just to see how Italian he was. And those results came back and he is 96% Polish. <laughs> Everything he's ever known is a lie. He started eating pierogies from there on. One woman loves pierogies. But I do appreciate being here on this cruise. You guys have one full night left, but then you go back. Or is there anybody doing it back to back? Yeah. Yeah, I love retired people. They don't even have houses anymore. They just live on the ship. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, right? It's cheaper than having one woman's like, I've been living here for 66 years. I'm the ghost of Vista's past. I'm not even alive anymore and I'm on this ship. I think it's a smart idea. You get to hang out with all these people, right? Kids come and go. You get all these attractive, wonderfully hardworking, kind and nice people taking care of you, right? They're so thoughtful, they're so nice. And by the way, they're so nice because by the money that they do make on the ship goes back home to them and their families. And in the Philippines, they are so much wealthier than us. Yeah. <laughs> We've got four princesses in the back. That's tomorrow night for all my adult shows. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been JC Coakley and I did not cuss once. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together Are you guys ready for more? Let's do this again. I said, are you guys ready for more? Thank you, everybody. All right, this next comedian I'm about to bring to the stage is work with Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, all the way from Greensboro, North Carolina. Go absolutely crazy and help me welcome. CJ Jones. What's up, everybody? What's up? Make some noise. Come on, come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Come on, white people. Show the black people. Clap. Come on. Sir, in the back. In the back, clap your hands. Come on. Everybody clap. Watch this. We're swaying this way. We're swaying this way. Look at this. White people got room.
one of them, ladies and gentlemen. Stop it right there. This is amazing. The white people will have rhythm. Who knew, okay? If you're happy, you know it. Can I get up? Oh, yeah. Clap one more time for Mikey D, ladies and gentlemen. Let him know you love him. And give it up for that crazy wackadoodle JC Cacoli, ladies and gentlemen. Clap for him. She's got just Italian. She's crazy. All the people, grown people who are on vacation, make some noise right now. Grown people, where you at? Now, if you paid for the cruise, I know you're having fun. Now, people that didn't pay for the cruise, that would probably be you. And anybody that is younger than like 10 years old or 18 years old, make some noise right now for your parents for bringing you on this cruise. Make some noise! It's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to show y'all living proof of what our society has come to. Children are a gift from God, but every now and then a gift needs to be returned. Hold on, dear. <laughs> yeah, man. Look at, I'm not just picking on you, boo boo. You clap. I'm not just talking about middle schoolers and teenagers. I was actually talking about 25 year old freeloaders that ain't got a job up here. <laughs> I've been looking at their parents. Yeah, I promise I'm going to get my stuff together as soon as this shit cruises over. <laughs> Can I have a drink on your drink plan? <laughs> I am amazed that everybody showed up. Because you know, y'all were a little tired because Cozumel was second out of you wanted that. Some of y'all said, oh, I'm Tom from Texas. I can handle this thing. You ain't heard nothing until you hear white people cuss one. Get your purse, LeBron. Let's get back on this ship. <laughs> white people are going, I want to be brown, but I don't want to be that brown. <laughs> Tell you, y'all laughing. You think it's easy being brown, huh? I went there. I mean, we have gone in three days in a row, three of the hottest places in the world you can go. We went to Belize, Roatan, and Cozumel. I had to, I'm holding my American accent right now, but it's so hot in these three places. I went from African American straight to Africa when I got there. <laughs> I started talking like this. Why am I talking like this? I want to see Hakuna Matata for no reason. <laughs> I'm kids, I ain't hating on y'all. I know that uh, y'all are lovable people. Y'all are here with the, I know it ain't a lot of kids here. And, and don't be mad that you go into a show with your parents, because apparently nobody in America want to keep y'all worse or less this week. <laughs> how old are you, Boo Boo? How old are you right here? 16. She says that we're 16. That means I'm almost 18. <laughs> I love 16 year olds. When are my little shorties at? Any kids in any young people? Like young, like in your 10, 11, 12. Oh, there he is, raising his hand. How old are you, sir? How old are you? Five? I don't like you, okay? <laughs> you on a cruise at five years old? Man, do you know what I got for my fifth birthday? A wax bag and I'm green army men with the same three positions. <laughs> I better clap. I hold it. I hold it. <laughs> Look at that PlayStation. My action figures didn't even have no action in 1969. You threw a gun, and your sister broke the gun. The gun pointed back at you. <laughs> Young girls in here got video games. How many women here had an easy bake up? Clap your hands. You had an easy bake up. That inspired so many chefs cooking cakes on 40 watt bulbs. <laughs> I was just a five year old. I bet you got an Xbox, man. Grown people, it's over 50 and 60. Xbox is a video game. I know you really heard of that in this century. Xbox, man, some of them, little kids are supposed to be playing games called Call of Duty. That's like a war game. Kids are playing war games, you know, because, you know, they saved our country in their underwear plot eating Captain Crunch. <laughs> They don't know nothing about saving no country. We got veterans in here that fought in World War I, two, three, four, seven, eight, two, three, nine, 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 Video games. And times, and you know some of you parents are mad. My kids are so spoiled. I wonder how they got that way. You know how we can stop this spoiling? Let's go back to our cabins tonight. Turn your lights on, look in the mirror, and slap yourself in the face. <laughs> That's you too, grandparents. What are the grandparents out of here? Clap your hands, what are the grandparents? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are the 
Grandparents, who's the grandparents? Oh, you look like a granddaddy, okay. But I, I thank you, veteran. But it's a couple of people over here. Y'all, you ain't no grandma. See, this is the problem. 2021, we got hot mama now. What is that? <laughs> I'm telling you, not that grandma's supposed to be hot, but grandma look cute now. Anybody over 30 years old, you know back in the day, grandma was she, grandma was grandma. She, and then times have changed too. You know when we grew up, sir, grandma was 49, 58, 62. 2021, grandma 34. What is that? <laughs> Uh-oh, a lot of people didn't laugh. It ain't my fault your family was a Jerry Spring X man, man. <laughs> I'm in the club tonight, that ain't happening. <laughs> I'm about to bounce it out of here. <laughs> she was grandma 34. She mad, because she didn't even want to be a grandma. Because new grandmas, and let me show you, people remember old school grandma 30 years ago? Remember, go back with me. Curly wig, turned it 360 degrees, it was the same haircut. One. Open up the closet, six polka dot moo moos, all different colors. <laughs> she had them moo moo on, had them house shoes, like she had a foot in the back of two raccoon boots. <laughs> she now grandma 35 wearing a mini skirt with a Halle Berry hat cut. <laughs> and all you grandmas now, you wanna be grandma, wanna swore the kids like grandma, but you don't want nobody to call you grandma. I saw a little boy almost get knocked out of CBS in Galaxy. He said, grandma, <laughs> Who you call it, Grandma? He goes, I'm not your Grandma. I am TT. <laughs> Look at all these nicknames: TT, BB, Cardi B, just Snoop Dogg, and all. What is it? Yeah, man. Grandma's is new now. Grandma's got all the modern conveniences. Refrigerator with the ice coming out the door, the water. Y'all little kids don't miss 16. You don't know about it. You can go to your grandma's house and stuff work. Grandma got cable in 2021. You don't know nothing about the four channels, baby boy. Who are the four channels? I know y'all just. I'm letting you know. Mr. Five, you don't know about the five channels. I know the four channels had, had one, had three, eight, and it depended on your city, nine, wherever it was, man. And, and I'm a patriot. We, turned, we learned to be patriots early in life because we would cry at the Star Spangled Banner every night. Not because we loved it. It was because that's when the TV went off. <laughs> I bet your TV, you got a TV in your room, don't you? Then you have to think about it. <laughs> she got a TV in her room, 16 years old. You know what my TV was? It was in my room, but it was called the living room. <laughs> my TV didn't have a remote control. I was the remote control. I sat remotely near the TV. <laughs> and my dad would control me. My dad didn't even talk. Anybody dad in here dip stuff to the back, he looked at you, he sound like it. <laughs> I mean, get your butt up, go over there, turn the TV, sit down and get out of my way. <laughs> we had rabbit ears on our thing, but it didn't work, so when that didn't work, we had to get something uh, scientifically invented to help the second antenna. It was called aluminum foil. <laughs> because apparently the grease would go down into the antenna and help the TV work. <laughs> Yeah, man. Kids don't even know about that. And see, the new kids, you know, you old school, quit reminding the kids of your old days. They can't help they live in 2021. I know we didn't have the cruise. We had a cruise ship, though. It was called a Chevy station wagon. That's what it was called. <laughs> oh, we didn't have a Lido deck, but girl, we had a Serenity deck, bro. We had that third row seat in the back. What? <laughs> My mom and dad watching where we're going, well, we watching where we be. <laughs> Uh, you ain't live till your TV now fall off the TV. What the? Watch this. Watch how the old these people are. When the TV now fall off, what you do? Yeah. Oh my God! You hear that? Pan plies, beaver nose, grits. I heard someone say tweezers. What kind of fingers you got? <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God! My parents didn't want us to know we were poor, sir. So what they did was my mom was sedated. They didn't use the pliers or an adjustable wrench. They used an oven dog. 
So Channel 9 was Broil. <laughs> channel 8 was Time Bait. <laughs> I was like, hmm, no wonder TV smells like cheese toast. <laughs> and look at you now. Y'all done come up, look at y'all, y'all done come up from all them humble beginnings. You younger people, you can't help that you benefited from it. Although some of you teenagers, some of y'all, and I gotta tell you, some of y'all are some ungrateful people. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I, you get clap, don't worry about them. Y'all, let me tell you this, parents and grandparents, wouldn't let these kids hold you hostage. You're the one with the purpose, okay? Half the time we let kids run our life, do you know what you ain't doing? I'm taking care of homeless people with a phone playing. Is that all of that? <laughs> Teenagers, I, I did a show last week, and this little young fella sat in the front row, and he was like, what's wrong with you, look? I don't want to be here with my parents. I said, you ever think your parents don't want you to be here with you? <laughs> They got the nerve, and then teenagers, I don't think, this is, I'm not a scientist, I don't think COVID came from a lab in the Wuhan. I think it came from a teenager. Because <laughs> all of them got upper respiratory infections. <laughs> Ask the teenagers to do one thing, take out the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? I have to do everything, what did you do? <laughs> And it ain't no bonus. Oh. I have to do everything. I'm laughing, man. And, and, but I love to be you. I swear I'm with that. 16 years old, you living your life. You wearing cool, cool clothes. You ain't never lived till you got a pair of sneakers that was joined together by a pair of plastic clips, man. <laughs> Come out the frozen food section. <laughs> Mama said, shut them shoes on. Y'all didn't know I invented Miss Pac-Man. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and now y'all out here hanging out, going to different countries. Everybody's a world season traveler. Well, I'm a veteran cruiser's over blue card. Clap your hand over red cards, huh? Where's the diamond at? Diamond in the middle of it? Platinum? Where you at, platinum? Look at that. Uh-oh, what did we do? Sneak the platinum people over here? <laughs> We don't want to be with that gold riffraff. <laughs> Blue card people kill me. Y'all try to act like y'all got the platinum privileges. We gonna make your grandma throw you off this ship. <laughs> uh, and, and Blue card people, you know who you are. Right? Y'all do crazy stuff. Y'all try to go to guest services and talk junk and go, don't mess with their services. I done told you that. Them people is trained by special forces. Don't mess with them. <laughs> I saw some girls going out there go, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Um, uh, there's something wrong with my car. I gave $50 to put it on here, and now it's not working. She's holding on. You are broke. Who is next? <laughs> I throw $50. That's one and a half Long Island ice cage. <laughs> you got to put $8,000 on here to have a good time, baby. Them drinks is expensive, man. I'm gonna tell you what, a lot of you parents are having to blow it out, but quit lying to your kids. I was kids ain't dumb. I saw a kid ask my mom today, Mommy, is daddy drunk? No, nah, he just fell down 27 times. <laughs> I saw y'all in college, man, right cousins. Y'all teach the rest of us how to party. Y'all get told that. <laughs> Woo! I saw people just walking around going, Woo! Just screaming for no reason. I saw one grandma hand in a wheelchair. They done roll all back. I said, oh Lord, that's wheelchair Nana. <laughs> Nana done got turned up. <laughs> Nana laid back like this, got a dress all over her head. I'm like, she don't even know what's going on right now. She dreaming she in this comedy show. <laughs> I love it, man. And then some of y'all, you know we can get some exercise today. We could go four, five hundred, eight hundred 800 yards and just make a right angle turn to the ship. No, some of y'all need to catch an Uber. That ain't close enough. <laughs> oh, don't get quiet right like y'all want to see people riding on that rickshaw. <laughs> only problem is that rickshaw is only made for either two normal booties or one big booty. Some of y'all put two big booties on that. <laughs> And I don't know if y'all know this, Mexican people ain't that tall, so they feet don't even reach the pedals real good. <laughs> I saw some ladies put their booty in there, and I heard the rickshaw go, <laughs> That little dude started riding, and he was standing up on the pedals. <laughs> and he was trying, and the next thing you know, the wheels started bouncing. And the next thing you know, he looked like a Mexican E.T. <laughs> One 
Hold on, have a three wheel motion. I hear Snoop talking about hold up. Hey. <laughs> Smoke burritos every day. <laughs> I enjoy, man. I enjoy my job. Man. I have fun. Kids, keep having a good time. Spend your grandparents' money and your mom's money and have a good time. But be kind. And if all people, get your butt off the water side. Let kids have fun on the water side. <laughs> some of y'all are booting away. You can get in there, but some of y'all is a booty limit. I don't know if you know that. Not a weight limit, but a width limit. We ain't got time to be unclogging booties off the water slide. Y'all run up car with water bill. This is what from stuck booties sound like on the water slide. That's what it sounds like. Now we got to send five, six graders down to unlodge them. Young people, little kids, 12 years old, be kind in the ice cream machine. Quit jumping in front of people, cutting one. <laughs> Parents, you know what you do? You want to get them back. Let them eat that ice cream all day. 12 o'clock tonight, they'll need your help. Mama! <laughs> he won't stop! But come to think of it, granddaddy do the same thing, though. <laughs> So you go to the door and you hear that, Granddad, you in there? Good Lord, that ice cream gave me the bubble squirts. <laughs> Look at all the ladies laughing, Granddad is going, kiss my butt back. Right? <laughs> grandma, ain't nothing funny when your grandma fired because she run with that wobble, sound like an AK, an AK-47 laying down, cover my oh Lord. Grandma stepping on frogs. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Y'all have fun, say yeah. Do me a favor, clap for my 1,200 co workers all over this ship and cruise direct to the show. Clap for my wings back there, the drink tin, the drink tin. Don't you love your cabbage still? I look alive, the mommy. They be smiling through their masks. They got a face in their eyes. The, how you got lips in your eyes? I'm talking about the mommy. I'm like, you got all a mask. I can still see your smile. They be like, dude, you just farted in your cabin and they smiling. <laughs> Why can I go for you? Know, they in their mind going, I wish I could get out of here. I'm about to kill myself. <laughs> Y'all be wanting extra towels. Can I get an extra towel? Y'all got 13 towels and six towel animals in hostage in the closet. <laughs> Some of y'all ain't got but one towel at your house and you don't wipe your butt with that for the last 30 days. <laughs> it's sitting at the house on the towel rack. Well, please, Jesus, get us over to the washing machine. We used to be white, now we're a brown towel. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I enjoy this cruise, man. I, I'm going to tell you, up, be careful on your next cruise. I went to Roatan, and they tricky down there. Now, I like Roatan, but they slick. I don't know if y'all saw they had a little monkey. You know, little monkeys like that. And a lot of money, little monkeys and stuff. Monkeys, I turned around, they were stealing stuff when they watch it. So I got back to the cruise. I said, that girl, monkey was stolen under her glasses. So I was hot, so I don't want to buy no new glasses. So I bought some shades the next day in Belize and looked at them. And they look like my shades. I saw the monkey like, gotcha! <laughs> I said, there is a shade monkey ring in Central America. Mm. But, um, but cruise is part of the fun is meeting new people. How many people have met new folks on here? I mean, don't you love it? <laughs> meet new people. You never know when you go to a foreign country, you might need somebody to bail you out. <laughs> and use some of them carnival cruise credits. <laughs> Get you out, but but um, but before I get out of here, I gotta tell you this. Um, tomorrow we got another PG show. I know you laughing. Some of y'all came here. Some of y'all came just to the ass. People said, "Do you really do a PG show?" I said, "I know I can. I check my bank account. <laughs> I am a professional." And kids, have a good time. Let your mom and dad have fun, man. Always worry about your butt. Always up here. Dad, mom and dad want to have a good time. They didn't really want to bring it, but they can't tell you that. <laughs> look at the parents, look at the kids. He's playing. 
but I really didn't want to run. I leave here, I'm gonna go to bed because I gotta mess my bed up with my objective every day. My cat is still make my bed up so good. You know, it got, don't got 13 sheets on your bed? Oh my lord, it's like a spider web, ain't it? You know what I'm doing in here? Should I one day, I, I was asleep and overslept, and Cabbage Stewart came in the room and made my bed up over me while I was in there. <laughs> and apparently they use a nail gun when they like staple the sheets, and then you got the bed against the wall, and you try to pull the sheets out, and they won't even come out. So I said, what is going on under my bed? I looked under the bed, y'all, there was a Filipino dude holding my sheets. <laughs> Go to sleep, you saw nothing. <laughs> and some of y'all gonna go, ain't that something? We have an elf on the shelf, now we got a Filipino on our bed. <laughs> Listen, y'all, that's my time. CJ Jones, everybody. Happy birthday! Ladies and gentlemen, give me a big one, CJ Jones. If you guys have a good time, let me know. Oh, yeah! Alright, guys, coming right up at 9 o'clock, we're gonna open the doors for our adult shows. But what we're gonna do is open doors only on head four. So when you come in, Make sure you come on down on deck four. I'm Mike, I'll see you anyway.